Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back to another video. Now, first thing first, if this setup looks bad with all the colors and stuff, I am trying to experiment with different things in here. Usually I go for like a neutral tone look with the light effects light being like a white, whitish or a slight tungsten light, but I went for like a, a more vibrant orangey look. See, I just thought I would let y'all know just in case my color grade looks bad because I try to go for a neutral look to enhance my skin tone. That being orange and my skin having orange and red within the skin tone, it'll be kind of tricky to color grade. But anyways, man, look, today we're talking about this right here. I got the Tilta Nucleus Nano. I don't know when it exactly came out, but it's been like probably over a year, two years since this follow focus came out. I always wanted one of these, man. So I finally got mine. I want to do an unboxing for it. And I do have an upcoming music video coming out that should be out by the time this video is out. So that's going to be linked up right here or one of these corners. See, I'm going to unbox this and then I'm going to show you guys some behind the scenes of me using the follow focus and like my whole like camera rig setup. And I got more things in here as well, not just the follow focus. I got a few other things I don't wanna show y'all. Uh, that'll be a part of my handheld camera rig. So let's get right into this unboxing. Boom, got the box and here we are, everything that's inside of it. Now, like I said, I did have multiple uh, items besides the nucleus, but I'm gonna go ahead and open that first since I know that's what probably some of y'all want to see. Yo, we got this. This is a box that it comes in, man. Nice packaging, man. I love some nice packaging, so that's a plus one for that. Some good packaging. Go ahead and unbox this. Open this real quick. Ooh. Ooh, see that? Tilta Nucleus Nano. Tilta Productions. Nice packaging. Zipper, zipper action on here. Ooh, y'all see that? They look good. Everything's in here that you need. This is the follow focus. Well, this whole thing is the follow focus, but this is the, the follow focus ring, I guess you can call it. Yeah, it just looks cool, man. Got the wood and accent on there. Nice and smooth, man. I like that. The motor for the gear that goes on your lens. Hey, you'll put that to like some gear teeth onto your lens and then you'll be able to focus or zoom however you want to have it for whatever lens you have. I think this is for like you put it on the bottom of your camera and you can insert this right here. But I already have rails for my shoulder rig or my handheld rig. So I won't be using this. I don't plan on using this. So that'll just always probably most likely stay in here. And they got some little tools in here. They got these two batteries. I think these are rechargeable batteries. These are, they look like regular AA batteries, but I think I read that you don't want to use regular AA batteries for this because they probably will mess it up. So I always want to use these and it does come with a charger because it is a rechargeable battery. And it comes with some cords in here that you can plug in. And you got this, which will go onto here. It's real simple. Just take that this little slot piece, slot plate, slot it in. You can lock it down. Boom. But I did pick up another like item like this, but it'll attach to my rail. And that's what the other stuff is over here. Um, you also do have these uh, focus gears that can go onto your lens, but I bought these right here because I didn't want to use these <laughs> because I don't like how it doesn't stop and doesn't fit good to your uh, to your lens. It just looked weird to me. So like all this extra stuff right here, I ain't like all that. I got multiple because I will be using the 24 to 70 RF lens in this upcoming music video shoot. And I wasn't sure exactly which one I needed. So I just got both just in case. And then, yeah. And before I close this up, I just want to show y'all one more time, this is the packaging for the Tilta Nucleus Nano. All right, moving on. So big thing for me is this right here. I wanted to use this because I saw that if you use like a V-mount battery or gold mount battery, you want to get more output and more power to this. So, and for my shoulder rig and my handheld rig, I'm using a V-mount battery anyway. So it just made sense for me to get this. And even though there was like a regular USB on to my V-mount, like I said, you get more power plugging it into the actual higher voltage or high amps, whatever you want to call it, into this motor. So you want to get a stronger pull and a stronger turn. So this right here, I always wanted these, man. 
I always wanted these to go to my handheld rig. These are like extra, um, like, you know how you have the handles in the front of your rig? Again, I'll be showing this all in the footage, but these are like extension arms. So instead of it being here, it'd be a lot lower and I can adjust it because of the rosette on here. So yeah, I got two of these put on both sides so I can move it up and down just so I can extend those arms out and I think it's gonna work. So I got those two. That was 30 total, 15 for each one. This is the gear teeth or gear teeth that you wanna put onto your lens, whatever size the lens. They do have different sizes. I have a, what, 85 to 87, 75 to 77. And the one on my lens now, I believe it's 81 to 83. And I think that one actually might fit the 24 to 70. The RF lens for Canon, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's why I got multiple ones right here. One of these is going to fit on that 24 to 70, but it's how everything will look. You just fit it to the lens, put it on there, and then you're good to go. This is going to go onto my rail. This is going to attach the actual, the, uh, the actual wheel for the nucleus. So it's just a better placement for me and my personal liking. This will go into my railing, and then it'll just attach with a little quick release just like how it was within the packaging, but just this didn't have this external piece and that can attach to a rail. I wanna say this was around like $30, $40. It could have been less, I'm not 100% sure, but everything will be linked down in the description if you guys wanna go check out any of this stuff. Like I said, this does just attach to 15 millimeter rails and then you just tighten it down. For me, like I said, it's a good placement. I like it. I actually want to put the wheel on one of the rosettes for the arms, but I think having this right here just makes it look better for me. So, um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So I'm about to go ahead and close this up and show y'all the behind the scenes footage for this video and probably won't hear from me again within the rest of this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, man, hit the like button or like button. <laughs> that's weird, hit the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing and I will see you guys with them in my next video. Woo! I have to run through that one more time. I got the handheld rig still, feed my battery. R6 2470 small HD monitor map box with the 4.565 filter, um, polarizer on there, and black probe mist one fourth along with the handheld uh, follow focus for tilted. Look, before I actually close this video out, because I know I said in the beginning of this video that I wasn't going to be back talking in here. I just want to show y'all the behind the scenes or whatever for this, and that was going to be it. But I think this is a really important little, I guess, discussion that I'm about to say about the Tilsa Nucleus Nano Wireless Polo Focus. So y'all see right here, this little LED screen. If you are out in bright conditions like I was for this recent music video shoot, which is also out right now. It's gonna be linked up in one of these corners and also linked down in the description. You cannot see anything on this LED screen at all. I'm, I'm not making this up. I wish I was, but 
you, you can't see anything. And this isn't anything that takes away from the functionality of this autofocus at all. Everything worked fine. I had no issues with it, but when I was out in bright conditions, <laughs> I cannot see. I cannot see anything on this LED screen. Now compared to the motor LED screen, which is a lot larger, I had no issues looking at and viewing what was being displayed on this screen compared to this. But that's only in bright conditions. I had no issues with filming inside or even if I was outside and it wasn't super bright, there's no issue with it. And like I said, this does not take away from the functionality of this follow focus. Everything worked fine. Um, that's all I had to say, to be honest. It's just, I could not see. I'm going to be dropping a behind the scenes video for the Sardine Eons video, which is what I shot a few weeks ago. It's out now. It's going to be linked up probably one of these two corners and also linked down in the description. See an in-depth behind the scenes coming soon and a bunch of other videos tied to just that one music video. And I think it's going to be really good content for you guys. So I'm looking forward to getting that out to you. I think that is it. <laughs> I think I'm done. I gotta edit this and get this out to y'all this weekend. So look, I'm about to get out of here, man. Look, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it to be informational to you, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys with my next video. I'm out, guys. Peace.